Okay, so the outside of the house, um, you have to be much more careful what mezuzah case you use. In the inside of the house, sort of as long as it holds the mezuzah up and it's not a case which is going to damage the mezuzah, or you know, and you're not putting it up in a way that's going to damage the door or the mezuzah case, you're pretty much fine. But in the outside of the house, you have to be very careful. I'm going to show you some of the cases which I've taken down from homes and what the mezuzahs inside actually look like, uh, and people are not aware what <clears throat> what the cases need to be. Uh, what how do, what kind of cases you need to have for the outside of the house and the reason why this is important is remember because the case is not just the wood case or the the metal case or it's what's inside it's the mezuzah that's inside and like i always like to tell people i say if you want your mezuzah to protect you we know the mezuzahs are shmira you want the mezuzah to protect you you need to protect your mezuzah okay so i'm going to show you now a couple of cases that i've that people have had on the outside of the house what the mezuzahs look like and we're going to try to figure out, and I'm going to explain to you why it's important to have what I call a waterproof case, a mezuzah, which is meant to go on the outside of the house. Okay, so um, the first kind of case, where did, it, where did it go? There it is. Okay, so all too common, people will go into a Judaica store, or they'll go into a sofa, and they'll buy mezuzahs. And either the, either the sofa or the Judaica store, they won't ask them, where are you putting this scroll? Where are you putting it? Is it going on the outside? Well, then you need to have a, a proper case. They'll just, you know, they'll buy the scrolls and they'll sell them the scrolls and they'll walk out of the house. And this will be a standard plastic mezuzah case, but it doesn't have to be this. It could be, it could be um, a wood case like this. It could be a metal case like this. Okay. The, none of these are good options to go on the outside of the house and well the, the most obvious one that is is a problem is this one because there's, there's two things we're afraid of when we put them on the outside of the house the first thing is the sun the second thing is moisture and humidity now the sun is very strong and very powerful um, the a case that's in the sun for any amount of time for a, you know a year two years a clear case will eventually do something like this it'll turn yellow and that's from the rays of the sun but it it damages the case but because it's a clear case the rays the sun's ray does not stop at the plastic here it goes all the way through so the mezuzah that was in this case which was originally a clear case it, it came out like this i don't know if you can see that there you can see okay remember this is parchment and what the sun did was it dried out the parchment and as you can see broken letters on the clap and obviously that's not considered kosher okay so the first thing we we realize is we cannot have a mezuzah in a clear case in a spot where it's going to be in the sun now i have sometimes people they tell me well um i have an overhang over my door and the sun doesn't really shine over there <clears throat> Or it's between a storm. It's between a storm door and the main door. So, and 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 they really want to be able to see the cloth inside the case. So, then well, there are such things which uh, there are. We do make cases which are um, waterproof, which keep out the moisture, but it would be a clear case. But here's the thing. I I've seen it happen uh, where mezuzahs. Somebody will take that into consideration and they'll say, well. It's not going to be in the sun or it's going to be between the storm door so let's just make sure it's waterproof but it doesn't have to be sunproof because the sun doesn't shine over there problem is in six years you move and you're like oh outdoor case is an outdoor case and your next front door doesn't have that overhang and it doesn't have the storm door and then we'll find where the mezuzah will end up being in the sun or you'll the mezuzah will be gifted to somebody else or, or passed on to a son or a relative and they don't know they just know it was on the outside and they think it's good for the outside i've seen all these situations happen so um, what, what I'm going to tell you right now isn't just because it's, it's right now, this is the conversation. This is the best kind of case that you can have for the outside, a white, a white case. Now, and it, why? Because it, it will reflect the sun. In addition to being uh, sunproof, a proper outdoor case is also going to be moisture proof. So it's going to have a plug like this. Oh boy. That's strong. I remember when I first got these cases, I wanted to test to see how waterproof they are. And I took a piece of paper, I stuck it inside, and then I stuck it, I weighted it down in a, uh, a bucket of water overnight. And in the morning, I, I took it out, 
and I, the paper was still dry. So I have full confidence, full faith in these Mozilla cases to keep out any moisture and any, and any uh, water from them. So this case would be considered a, a fully waterproof case because no moisture can get in versus a case like this where the back is open. Okay, um, look at this. Unfortunately, this is a, 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 a mezuzah that got wet. Okay, the cloth disintegrated. So, and if it doesn't disintegrate, it'll do other things like this. It just gets moist, it gets wet, a little water dribbles in, um, either that or the, the letters sweat and, and yeah. So moisture has to be kept out. We do that with the plug. Um, sun has to be kept out. We do that with a white case or any case. It could be a dark case if it's not going to be in the sun and if you can make sure that it will never end up in the sun while being outside. So just keep that in mind. So again, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, subscribe. If you like this video, give the video a thumbs up and I'll see you on my next video. Another video coming out real soon and stay tuned.